Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled Brood Reviewed. I just got up, took a shower, and here I am starting my Sunday morning with a hopefully great cup of coffee. I hope you're doing the same. Don't forget on this channel, you know I review everything has anything to do with coffee and also anything has to do with alcohol. And I got all these beautiful playlists. You got to maneuver through there. It's so beautiful. I have it so categorized and subcategorized, make it easy for you to find. You're going to be fascinated. And of course, the first comment of every video I pin, because that's a link to what I'm reviewing. And in this case, it has a link to the playlist I'm reviewing. In this case, it's what? It is alcohol infused or flavored slash coffee. This company is uh, Villainous. Villainous, villain, villainous, uh, grinds, grounds, I'm having a hard time, <sighs> villainous grounds, cool name, uh, bourbon barrel aged coffee, it's called double elked, uh, it says the roast uh, dated, which is recently, I just bought it and they sent it, roasted it and sent it right to me, I think they roast once a week, I was looking at their website, um, $14, uh, for this bag. It is um, aged in MGP, double oaked bourbon barrels. Hmm. Gives you the altitude in the region, Congo. Um, yeah. Plain. Um, biodegradable bag. The place sounds cool. It is in um, Perryville, Missouri. And apparently they... Um, have different kind of teas and coffees and different kind of milks to put it in and all that. And they roast once a week. Uh, but it's a bazaar. So you can rent booths there. And I know they sell comics and pastries and stuff. So if you Google it, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. It seemed to be anyway. Let's um, let's smell this in the bag. So you can smell it right through here. This is not really what that's made for. That's made for when the beans off gas. It doesn't blow up the package. It has, gas has a place to escape. Definitely 1,000% smell strong bourbon. So, that's kind of what I'm excited about. I don't know the method they use. There's a lot of methods to do this. Uh, I've done a lot of them. Uh, this one, I didn't find out. I guess I I called them to order this. I could call them. I should have called them to ask, but you can if you want to. I should have. Too late now. I'm getting ready to roll. There's the beans. Now, I have um, uh made this with a French press, my favorite style. Here's the coffee. French press, got a nice sheen of oil on top. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. It's got a fruity smell. Fruity. What the hell's the... Traditional coffee, but fruity. Very fruity. I'm surprised. I keep saying no because... Um, thinking the bourbon's going to overshadow any fruitiness, but you got that whiskey smell. Now let's give this bad boy a taste. Let's go in now. As acclimate, let's get the acidity. Let's see what that's like. I made it hot. We'll do the acidity and the bitterness. So, the acidity's there. My mouth is watering. Um, the, the traditional bitter coffee, I guess, taste or, yeah, bitter taste. Is not necessarily there. It's just very, uh, as far as the bitterness goes. So if you like a really bitter coffee, this would be your, your daddy O right here. If you want to take the acid down if you want. I mean, it's refreshing. It tastes good, but um, it feels good. We're going to, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Oh, yeah. It's definitely bourbon. It's not overshadowing. The smell is a lot stronger of the bourbon than the taste, but it's on the taste. It absolutely is. And all things you want to say about bourbon, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of brown sugar, stuff like that. 
It's definitely shining through. Now, if you used a little brown sugar in here, or raw sugar, it would, it would be probably pretty good. What I like to use, and this is what would get rid of the acid. I don't do it for that reason. I could care less about the acid. I don't mind it. Um, it'll also cut down the bitterness, which this doesn't have. I don't mind that either. I do this because I think it just tastes so damn well when I do. And that's heavy cream. And heavy cream a lot of times will bring out flavors, believe it or not. If it buries them, buries them not using a lot. If you, of course, you use a lot. It's all you'll taste. But I put a splash in. That fat brings out flavors a lot of times. It saves many a cup. It'll reduce the acidity, reduce the uh, bitterness, and just add that vanilla sweetness to it. Um, creaminess, and I just uh, love the old heavy cream. So let's uh, let's deal with that. All right. Give it a little stir. All right. And it brought out the bourbon smell. It's amazing. Well, there's a reason they marble steaks and meat. Is that fat? Just fat's basically flavor. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Mmm. Oh man. Because I always detect a little vanilla when I use heavy cream. And of course, vanilla is one of the things that goes so well with bourbon. I had a bourbon, I did a review on it. Finished in vanilla extract barrels. It was good. The flavors I like coming out of bourbon a lot of times, orange, vanilla, cherry are three big ones. <coughs> this was fruity as it was. Now I'm bringing a, the vanilla go with that bourbon. I've, I've done bourbons uh, finished in um, uh, Grand Marnier, orange liqueur. I've done them all. I've done, I've done so many videos. But, I mean, those are the flavors, or if you're making a cocktail, that I like to go with bourbon. Vanilla, cherry, orange, using those bitters or whatever. All right, since I am getting the bourbon flavor here uh, and the coffee didn't have a big bitter aftertaste, but it still tasted like good old coffee um, and it's got a lot of flavor to it, I'm going to give it a, a, I don't rate things, it's good, I'll just say that, it's good, you can make your own decision, but you're getting everything you're supposed to get in it and I'm just finding it to be a very pleasing cup both in the smell and in the taste. They've done a good job. So MGP. Mm, that's good. That bourbon influence is just perfect. Different than if you poured bourbon in there. It would be different. First of all, you'd have alcohol in there. It, it just tastes different when it's like this. It's just milder. It's just infused. It just it's just different. It's better. Um, yeah. All right. I'm giving you a thumbs up. You did a fine job. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to sub. I'll see you in the next one. If you sub today, the next ten videos you can watch for free.